Okay, so you're going through all this shit right here. And G Money is still dropping music this whole time. Right. Okay. Now, what's, what's crazy, you know, I, I was talking to my assistant about this earlier today. We scheduled G Money for an interview on a Wednesday. And he was killed a couple days later. I, I actually know about that. Yeah. He was scheduled for an interview in New York and out here. Yeah. And so the whole, he actually was supposed to come, I think, the week before, right? Yeah. He ain't coming because he was waiting on me to come on. He, he wanted to come do the interview with me. Wow. He was he was waiting for you. Right. And stayed in, in Baton Rouge. Yeah, he was supposed to be gone. Because you're about he to be out here in, or in New York doing interviews. I was really looking forward to the interview. Like, you know, I always felt that that dude had, had star star potential. He had the right look and, you know, I mean, the music was dope. And, um, you know, I didn't get to talk to him myself, but my assistant said he was, like, super excited yeah. to do it. You were actually in jail when you found out about the news. Yeah. How badly did it hit you? I broke down and cried. Yeah, you you were saying anything in the smalls, and you were crying like a baby, like a, you were like screaming, crying, like you were so like, upset. It was it was like to where you can't scream, you know. You know how your mama hit you, and you just <laughs> you know, more like that. This is your best friend. Right, this is the closest friend I and and I had besides my first best friend, but we got closer. You feel me? Yeah. So, what was the situation around him being killed? Huh? The, the situation about him being killed. Like, what what was the overall story? Oh, I don't really know. I think it was like some random gun violence. Okay. I don't really know. What, was anyone arrested for his murder? Mm, no. Okay. How, how mad are you over that situation right now? Oh, I'm very mad. Yeah, I mean, what you know? Come on, come back around. If 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 you found out today that the person who did it what was arrested and convicted, would that make you feel any better? No, no, because people say I don't wish jail on nobody. You know, you hear that a lot. I most definitely don't. You you feel the same way, right? You don't wish jail on the person. No, you wish that you could actually handle it yourself if you could. Yeah. As as anyone would who, who has a best friend who, who who lost their life that way. Yeah. Fucked up situation. It's a fucked up situation. Um, and they actually allowed you to go to the funeral. No, they, they let me go to the funeral of the body. The they said I was yeah. I was security risk. So they um they they made sure everybody left the um funeral home, and nobody knew that I was there. I didn't even know I was going. I thought I was going to the funeral the next day, but they, they can't got me on surprise. I guess they shackled you, hands and feet. Yeah. And I guess let you look at the body for like 10 minutes. No, yeah, they gave me 10 minutes. They let me touch them too. Did you cry when you were there? Yeah. It's always weird, man. Whenever I go to funerals, it's like you, you see the body, yeah. but you know it's not the person anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. it's like like the soul has left, and it's like. But it, it, it didn't feel like he was dead. Like, I was actually, I was tapping. I was trying to wake him up. Sad. So right after that, you went right back to jail again. Yeah. You know, and you said that. I mean, in jail, you got you were getting into like a lot of fights. I guess like twenty yeah. or so fights. I wouldn't call that a lot because it was over a course of two and a half years. Yeah, it got people that fight twice a week up in there. So it, it just, you know, the run ins every now and then, somebody disrespect you. Or somebody somebody want to just challenge your name, see if you, you know, you're really living like that. So it'd be like that sometimes. Yeah. Well, you come out when? I came out May two, um, May 26th. 2018 this year this year yeah a lot of people ain't know i was home for a month 
Yeah. I ain't let nobody know the song was two months later. Well, and you came out broke. Most definitely. <laughs> you didn't have nothing. Yeah. And I guess, you know, G Money I guess was staying with your with your family. No, 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 no. no? I, when I when I came when I when I came, when I came to jail, he was sta- he had stayed he was staying at my house. Okay. It wasn't like he ain't had nowhere to stay though. He he stayed with his family at nine then, but he would rather but, stay by. Well, me. I'm just saying that's how close you guys were that you're. Yeah. You know, he was yeah. close to you and your family to the point yeah. where your family. Yeah. When he died, he was living. He had um, he was with his girl. He was staying with the girl. Him and his girl had got a house. 